everybody welcome to the video surprise of the day today's video surprise is changing the water filter on a samsung french door fridge please remember subscribe hit the bell icon you want to be notified new videos and i really appreciate that thumbs up thank you very much in advance okay folks uh, we're going to cover a number of items today first of all we're going to acknowledge that we have a problem with the filter and it's blinking red and it becomes solid red after a few seconds and that means that you need to replace the filter so you need to source that filter either from amazon or home improvement stores just to name a few or a few other online websites as well make sure you buy the oem one by the way too oem one is for best quality and also it may not clog your system so using the cheaper ones are not recommended okay so the performance will be different overall Notice the lock symbol is pointing upward with the lock. And this is our replacement filter, also from Samsung. So notice there's a cap on top. Eventually you're gonna remove that cap. You don't put it inside the fridge with that cap on. So it's DA97173 76B and it's HAFQINS EXP. Okay, so the filter, the packaging is a little challenge to take out, by the way. I noticed that you have to cut it with a scissor, so make sure you prep that ahead of time. And you need to twist the old one out. So you want to twist it counterclockwise in the direction of the unlock symbol on the lower left you see over there. And just pull it out like that. So I'm going to do it, do that slowly. Let's do it again. There it goes. And just pull it out. There are going to be some water droplets and stuff like that on the... The fridge over here which is okay because you know your filter got water inside initially right, when you open it up so take this cap and float away just gonna show how the, the cap actually comes off really easily so once you get the cap off and everything then you can put it in so the cap is off right now slide it in and you twist it clockwise you can do a number of times I just want to note the fit and finish is not as good as the original that came with the fridge i don't know why samsung didn't do that same quality but it is and it works great it's just that mine's you know even when you twist it all the way there's a little opening there so that's it is what it is next thing you need to do is actually hold on to the door alarm light for about three seconds then unlock the screen unlock button unlocks you notice the it disappears actually in fact Okay, and the next thing you need to do is actually go to the ice maker icon over there right here hold say ice maker hold it for three seconds and that will clear the filter reminder alarm so that's that's how you um, clear it and next thing you do is probably get something that like a pitcher or some kind of large cup and we're gonna get the air out of the system so maybe a gallon of water or less to get the air out hold on to it notice that you know the air is in the system right here surprisingly the replacement filter the water is actually pretty clean there's not a lot of carbon whereas you know i've seen other manufacturers they have a lot of carbon in their filter so this water you, you probably don't want to use it you probably want to recycle it maybe water the plants or or do something else with it you know, it's just uh, usually the water to come out of the fridge initially has a lot of carbon particles. Uh, those are black carbon particles and maybe a little bit dirty, I would say. But it's not it's not usable, but you can actually use it to water plants and stuff. And they'll be okay, so you don't waste water. And that's the key. And wait till it has solid. You then probably want to flow a cup under it and see how the water quality is. If the water is clean enough, then you could call it all done for that part if not then you probably want to continue to do this thing notice i have a stream of water now coming out and no more air in the system and you, you know everything is great and you check for leaks and stuff like that so it's the next step nothing leaks everything is placed the you know we already did the reset of the the alarm and the filter's not leaking then you're done so that's pretty much the steps involved notice the Fit and finish is not that great for the replacement filter, but it fits well, except for the outer cap. It looks a little bit like it has some opening, which is fine. 
keep that in mind. Hopefully this video helps you out how to replace the filter and reset the alarm. Really appreciate a thumbs up and please share this video to help others as well too. See you next time. Bye.